offers psychic sense reading for the future Sagittarius. You don't have to be a Sagittarius to resonate with this reading. You could be energetically connecting to somebody who does have Sagittarius somewhere in the astrological chart. You can have Sagittarius somewhere in your astrological chart, or you came across this reading, and it just resonates. Please check your Jupiter where you have Sagittarius and your astrological chart to see how you may resonate with the reading. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. Your world's for Sagittarius. What is the future for Sagittarius, please? Hidden energy is lover's quarrel. It says, can't take it back. The message says, people break your heart and act like you're the one who fucked shit up. Okay, so lover's quarrel. Some of you guys may like the Simpsons. Okay, the Simpsons could be significant to you. All right. The overall energy you have is, I'm a cancer. And you really bruise my ego and I'm not dealing with it. It says one percent, so something has like no energy. Okay, someone feels like they have a really bruised ego. You could have a really bruised ego, Sagittarius. All right, what is the future for Sagittarius, please? That's what's coming up in the future for you. This could also be someone you're dealing with. Okay, like you hurt someone's ego, and you're not dealing with it. Or they hurt your ego, Sagittarius, and you're not doing very well. What's the future for Sagittarius? All right. So you have the priestess. This is moon and Virgo energy. Okay. Many people are going to a tarot card reader, a psychic, a medium, a seer. You could be one. If you're in a relationship, you're catered. If, you, if you're a feminine energy, you are catered to in the relationship. If you are single, many people are attracted to you and want you okay um you're also younger than the people that you date as a feminine energy like you're usually younger you're also intrigued by the mysteries of not just yourself but of the world around you the hidden energy is earth Taurus Virgo Capricorns can be Aquarius energy you've been seeing 222 a lot you're very grounded right now and you have a lot of resources because you're using your intuition, okay, or you're willing to learn something new from, you know, maybe it's a tarot card reader, a psychic, a medium, a seer, something like that. You being willing to learn something new helps you not only feel more grounded, but be able to manifest whatever it is you want into your physical reality, okay? You becoming more enlightened. Also, you're very practical and very realistic during this time. You have the ability to grow things from scratch, okay? Um, Especially if you are a woman. What is the future for Sagittarius? You may be a mother for some of you. You're very intuitive. If you're single and you're a feminine energy, you will dream of the person you're meant to be with before you actually meet them or encounter them. Okay? Romantically speaking. All right. You have... When fish swim near in an ocean bass, Prospects are clear for a fortune amassed. If fish swim away, hopes are battered. Cheer turns to dismay and dreams are shattered. So fish also represents prosperity, like financial abundance. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius energy. When fish swim near, prospects are clear for fish swim away and hopes are battered. This is also about relationships, and it's talking about the fact that if you want to be financially abundant, right? See, Libra energy is connected to financial abundance, and many people are unaware of this because people believe that, you know, Libra just love to connect to people. That's, that's, that's not what they're doing. It's social proficiency. It's a gift. It's to move up the social ladder. Libra is about relationships. But think about it, it is about how can I utilize this energy to benefit myself, right? So although Libra can be a people-pleasing energy, there's a benefit that on some level can come towards the Libra in the prospect of them getting to know so many different people and being able to relate to so many different people. We've also been seeing 444 a lot. There's a benefit to it, right? You ever hear about knowing people in high places, Right? Being able to, you know, being able to move 
through your relationships and connections and actually progress through your career and through your life in that way because it's a cardinal sign. This is you still taking action on some level. But it's saying if you're not emotionally stable, you won't make any money. Why is being emotionally stable important? Because if you are emotionally stable, you will know you are deserving of money. You'll know your worth. You'll know your value. If you don't know that, you will not make any money, basically. And this happens in solitude. This happens in you looking within yourself, right? It's almost like attracting. Attracting. ocean bass. The fish could go anywhere, but they choose to go to you. But why? The ace of bass. Tangible. The fish is also about dream. It's also in the Bible, right? The symbol of the fish. It's about dreams. It's also about prophecy. They go and there are resources. Right, if you want to catch a fish, you put the worm into the water and you allow it to attract the fish. It's not about chasing, it's about attracting, becoming the abundance. Becoming the abundance. I like it. Becoming the abundance in your physical reality. This is not just about a dream. Right? Or an illusion. It's about the living in it. Because true power is not knowledge and true power is not money. True power is belief. It'll be a new job opportunity or a new strong start in a relationship. This could be, you know, in business as well. Beautiful. Queen of Wands, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ficious, you have the two of swords in reverse, Moon and Libra, gorgeous energy. All right, that's the future for Sagittarius. Seven of Cups, Venus is Scorpio, Ten of Aries, and Scorpio, Ten of Wands in reverse, love it. Sagittarius is Saturn, it's going to be the Aquarius or Capricorn. Energy as well as Pisces energy. You are dropping performance punishment. There's some type of job or responsibility or obligations that you have, right? Could been going on for at least 10 weeks at least right and although you all the work everyone else benefits from it right maybe you're uh then your certain employees they get to take their time off they get to go on a break and you don't get to do that you, you have to do all the work right it falls on your shoulders there's something very significant about you but the priestess here this is also a solo act example of feminine energies in real life that have more than verbal energy you have um, Lizzo. That's a good example of a moon and Virgo woman. Another moon and Virgo woman would be considered myself. I'm a moon and Virgo woman. Dolly Parton is a moon and Virgo woman. Um, Aaliyah was a moon and Virgo woman. Nicki Minaj, a moon and Virgo woman. Um, It's a solo act. Although they have features, oh, Serena Williams, Moon and Virgo Woman. Think about it. All of these individuals I just listed, they've worked with other people, right? Serena Williams, she did doubles, you know, double competitions in her life, but she's known as Serena Williams. She has so many, you know, accomplishments under her own belt, right? Individually. Lizzo is a name within itself, you know, singular, one person, right? Although she may, you know, do, although she may, you know, collaborate with people, it's still Lizzo. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's like a solo act. It is. Aaliyah, and it's, it's the name itself 
was a solo act. Nicki Minaj, she collaborated with so many different people. She's basically a solo act. You get what I'm saying? It's the more Virgo energy is also someone who's able to connect and collaborate so successfully with other people in their career. But it is someone who works solo. Like they're very successful as a solo act. Psychic like said, it's just me up here. It's a solo act. It's a solo act, right? It's a solo act. The Ten of Wands is dropping all of the things that you typically are responsible for and obligated to, okay? And releasing baggage as well for the past. But the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands is dynamic. You could be seeing one on one a lot. Something illegal is also going in your favor. Illegal. You could be in a divorce or you could be um, getting married. You could be signing a contract in your favor. You've also been seeing 11 11 a lot. So another wish will come true. Some of you are on dating apps, Venus is Scorpio, can be Aries. Or you could be just fantasizing about other people outside of your relationship. Okay, or masturbating other people outside of the relationship, or your significant other could be doing this. With the two of swords, there is, you know, communication. There is no indecisiveness about where your heart lies okay there's been a heart there's gonna be a heart chakra awakening for you okay and that you're also multi-talented there's so many different things that you can do you're really gifted okay Sagittarius and you just recognize that you can be a successful business owner a witch an entrepreneur a rapper dancer actor singer if you're in a relationship you are fond over by your significant other okay if you're single many people just fawn all over you they absolutely adore you you're very attractive. You're very sexy, Sagittarius. That's what's coming up to you in the future, okay? And you're looking really good. You're feeling really good about yourself, okay? And you're very vibrant in your career. You're on display. And all eyes are on you, okay? That's what's coming up in the future for you. You're very positive and optimistic as well. You can work in philosophy, psychology, spirituality, religion. You could even work in communication, travel, be a flight attendant, a pilot, okay? Um, you can work at the airport. You can work in prison institutions, asylums. You can be a doctor. You can work in psychology, animals. Okay, the entertainment industry. You could be an actor, a model. Okay. All right. So you're feeling really confident. So someone else is ego is really bruised. So they could be looking at other options due to a bruised ego. Okay. All right. Let's look at what the future is for Sagittarius. You're feminine. You're feeling very good. You're also attracting a lot of people if you're single. Okay. What's the future for Sagittarius? Doing very good in business. You have the hidden energy being surrender. Sky dancers, the number forty-eight. Okay. And the overall energy is hollow bone teachability, the number twenty-eight. There is going to be a promotion coming your way. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces. This wants to be Sagittarius or Pisces energy. Okay, but this is about you being able to be recognized. For what it is that you do. And you taking an account of how much you've actually done. You stepping into leadership to teach other people. Making sound. By you making sound, you teach other people. Be an artist or a musician or something like that. It's kind of a, a, an instrument. Be a clarinet for some of you. I was in band. I played uh, trombone and piano. That sort of looks like a, like a clarinet. So yes, Sky Dancers surrender. There are thoughts that you are letting go of that have kept you stagnant, rather it's in relationships, commitments, or just in your dreams. But you are letting that go in order for you to be illuminated emotionally. To what it is that you would see as abundance, what you want to commit to, and work hard towards, okay? Let's use this deck. What is the future for? So, 
Sagittarius and Aries. Many people are watching you right now. They're very impressed. Very impressed by you, Sagittarius, by the way that you are conducting yourself. Very confidently. You could be an athlete for some of you, the Queen of Wands. You have adenine and thymine, which is duality, contrast, trust, and balance. The number two, Moon and Virgo, it's going to be Taurus energy. You're recognizing your worth, and that allows you to have a connection or a relationship. And having a lot of trust and balance in that relationship or commitment. The overall energy is Altarian Stargate, which is neutrality, diplomacy, negotiation, and philosophy, the number 47. It's the master psychic. You could be going to a very good psychic. You could be a very good psychic. Okay? It's also your vision. We all have intuition and psychic ability, but this is your vision, Sagittarius. You are the seer. Okay? So this is about what it is you believe in. Purple, you spiritually, religiously, philosophically, psychologically believe in. And you pursuing that. Okay? You not feeling as if that's something you need to compromise in order for you to be happy. Yeah. This is also you knowing who you are and being able to share that with the masses. Even the people who um, feel like they are outcasts. Right, you being able to share it with them or to feel included, inclusivity, right? And you still standing out in the process, Aquarius, Capricorn energy. This can also represent the LGBTQ community, stepchildren, outcasts, people who feel like they just don't belong, okay? People who are bohemians, gypsies, people at the back of the room who are just like, I'm alone, right? And this is happening suddenly. This is also whatever you've been putting out, you get back. This is karma, okay? Car. Ma. Something legal is also going in your favor. Congratulations. This has been your reading. You could be signing a contract, getting divorced, or getting married. You could work in the legal field. Okay. Congratulations, Sagittarius. Ashe.